Hey, welcome to Be Less Stupid, the show for people tired of getting ripped off, jerked around, and taken advantage of, because the facts they need to make good decisions are so elusive. Be Less Stupid is brought to you by Benihana. You've heard of cruelty-free meat? Well, at Benihana, we're introducing the absolute most cruelty-free meat ever. Meat treated so well that by the time it hits your plate, it's still barking. Benihana, hey cats, you're next. Coming up, what happens if you survive a plane crash, but the water you land in is 41 degrees? We put this guy into freezing water to show you how quickly hypothermia sets in. It's an experiment we're doing for science, and because it's hilarious, but also it's for science, and hilarious. It's, it's silarious. But first, the pilot of a British Airways jet reports he collided with a toy drone helicopter 1,700 feet above London Reach for a comment, Nigel, a little boy standing next to his best friend who was actually flying his 12th birthday present said, uh, fuck, uh, does this mean I'm not gonna get a turn? That is so unfair. In other aviation news, a team of experts is attempting to fly this solar powered plane around the world. The first leg of the trip, a 2,500 mile flight from Hawaii to Southern California took 62 hours or about the same as any flight on Southwest. It's amazing. They can make a three-ton airplane with a 236-foot-long wingspan powered by the sun, uh, but not an airplane where my balls and my knees don't have to occupy the same physical space. In other airplane news, a recent flight was forced to make an emergency landing after flight attendants caught a male passenger masturbating. In the guy's defense, he says he's pretty sure when the stewardess came around with snacks, uh, she asked him if he wanted more penis. Our hypothermia experiment is coming up next. But first, I turn to our reporter, John Hotchkiss, who is outside of this studio, standing by my wood-fired pizza oven. Thanks, John. Reporting from outside the garage by the pizza oven, the question is, do I have enough wood? Let's take a look. Uh, no, I do not have enough wood for the pizza oven. Back to you inside. Moving on. On January 15th, 2009, U.S. Air Flight 1549 took off from New York's LaGuardia Airport, headed for Charlotte, North Carolina. Three minutes into the flight, the plane hit a flock of geese that crippled both engines. Captain Chesley Sullenberger was forced to make an emergency landing in New York's violently. Hudson River. I looked out the window and the left engine was on fire. 90 seconds before we actually hit the water, the pilot finally made his first announcement, and that was, this is your captain speaking, brace for impact. Amazingly, all 155 passengers and crew survived the landing. That is an amazing story that most people know. However, what you likely don't know is that the water that day in the Hudson River was a chilly 41 degrees. When the plane ditched in the water, I didn't even think about the life vest initially. During the entire plane ditching experience, I didn't see anyone try to grab their uh, life vest from under the seat. I was focused on getting out of the plane first. What I wanted to know is, what would have happened to the survivors who survived the bird strike and the landing were they not rescued within minutes of landing in the water? So I did an experiment on my other series, This Versus That. On hand were the show's hosts, Brad Sherwood, Chris Talman, and Mark DiCarlo, along with the head of thoracic surgery from Los Angeles' Cedar sinai Hospital, an EMT, and Travis, our intern. In 2005, Tunanter Flight 1153 crashed off the coast of Sicily. The water that day in the Mediterranean was in the 70s, which was good for the 20 survivors who languished in the ocean 46 minutes before being rescued. The temperature in the Hudson River on January 15th wasn't nearly as balmy. The day U.S. Air Flight 1549 touched down in New York's Hudson River, the water temperature was 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna demonstrate right now what it looks like and what happens to a person when they're in 41 degree water. Now, before one of the hosts gets into the tank, let's quickly rewind. Our universe was formed 13.7 billion years ago, following the big bi- Okay, let's rewind a little less. Ah, that's better. It took 700 pounds of crystal party ice to bring the nearly 200 gallons of water in the tank to the proper temperature, 41 degrees. Mm. 
15 minutes of exposure to water at this temperature will result in unconsciousness. In 90 minutes, you'll be dead. And after two hours, you become your own Ben & Jerry's flavor. Who's getting in the water? Not me. No. <laughs> no. Mm. Yeah, oh. Wait. Yes, but I am not American, so it does not count. Oh. Okay. All right, well, let's do, uh, let's do it fair like Americans would. Rochambeau. OK, you guys go, and I will be the judge. Whoa. Cheating Canadian uh, bastard. No, mm. that gives you an advantage. I'm actually from Wisconsin. How about we play Travis? It's an old Wisconsin game. How do you play that? Travis, get in the tank. Oh, intern. Ah. Yes. Now, we're not kidding, Travis. Water is 41 degrees Fahrenheit, the same temperature it was on January 15th when the plane went into Hudson, all right? Now, Travis, once you're in there, we're going to give you the seat cushion so to simulate you actually have to hold on to this thing while you're freezing. Yeah, for as long as you're conscious. Okay. All right. And remember, if you don't stay conscious the whole time, I'm not saying it's bad for the show. I mean, those are the kind of those are the kind of things that make YouTube hits. It'd be really funny, be really cool. you know, it'd be really cool if you died. Oh. How is it? 10 bucks of screams. Yes. All right. Ooh. Now, just so that you know, we did not do this willy-nilly. We have a thoracic surgeon with us, Dr. Harmik Sukasian from Cedar sinai He's going to monitor uh, Travis. A hypothermia is a situation wherein the body has been deprived of its normal uh, thermal regulation, it's usually cold air or cold water, which then basically suck the heat out of the body. When you took this intern, Travis, did you think it would be this exciting? Is it cold or are you just acting? I quit. <sighs> You're not getting paid. You can't quit. <laughs> this is Dr. Harmak Sukasian a cardiothoracic surgeon from Cedar sinai Hospital. Cold water is much more dangerous than cold air in that cold water will rob the body of its heat 32 times faster than cold air will. The doctor is supervising our demonstration. Well, when you get in cold water such as this, you know, you, yeah. your, your initial reaction is to take a big gasp like he did. He will also provide emergency aid if there are signs of shock, incoherence, or cardiac arrest in Brad Sherwood. These experiments make him crazy nervous. And what are the signs of hypothermia? The order of events that you would expect would be initially uh, shock, uh, where a patient is disor person is disoriented. Once they become oriented, they'll, they'll try and thrash around. They start shivering. They start having teeth chattering. His heart rate's doing OK. It's rising. Then they'll start losing their ability to have uh, normal thought processes. They become less oriented. They become less lucid. In the field of medicine, this inability to think clearly is known as, quote, going busy. Continued exposure to the frigid water will next lead to the loss of fine motor skills, followed by a loss of the shivering reflex and the body's ability to keep warm. My muscles are, my muscles are seizing. They start cramping, and they can't perform almost any uh, motor activity, such as uh, keeping themselves afloat. a hard time. I can't feel my fingertips. Eventually, what happens is that your temperature in your body comes down so low that it starts affecting your heart. And if your heart gets affected, then your heart will stop. And if your heart stops at that point, certainly you will die. Go to our website, and you can see the rest of this episode, including all the experiments we did to test which flotation is more likely to save your life, the seat cushion or the life vest. There's also an interview with Ben Bostick, one of the passengers on that U.S. Air Flight 1549. There's an interview with a former pilot from United Airlines, as well as a bunch of life-saving demonstrations by America's leading expert in airplane emergency preparation. I want you guys to demonstrate how this vest will automatically flip you upright. That's adorablepuppiesinc.com. When you get to the homepage, click the button that says, see the shows. You get all six one-hour episodes of This Versus That along with 13 half hours of Pizza with Riders and 10 half hours of my Not Safe for Work late night comedy series, Get Sex Tonight, and all you pay is just one payment of $3.99. And if you're still nervous about paying for something you're just not sure of, you can see the first episode of every show totally free. Just click one of the links in the navigation bar. That's it. I'll see you next time on Be Less Stupid. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed the show, please share it with your friends.
Welcome back to This Versus That, where our intern Travis is clinging to life, but not his seat cushion, thanks to the onset of hypothermia and the loss of many of his motor skills. I can't feel my fingertips. All right, yeah. let's go. All right, get him out. Eventually, what happens is that your temperature on your body comes down so low that it starts affecting your heart. And if your heart gets affected, then your heart will stop. And if your heart stops at that point, certainly you will die. So it's time to get him out. Wow. All right. <laughs> Charlie, can you come out, please? All right. All right. You're freezing. Jeez, <laughs> Quickly. All right, let's get the EMT in here. Right. Tony, you got him? Got him. OK. OK. So we're going to walk him into the pool area. Turn him over my shoulder. All right. All right. So start walking into the pool now. With prolonged exposure to cold water, hypothermia gets more severe. Breathe deep. Breathe. Open get down mouth. to your neck. Yeah, I can't feel my toes. Your muscle coordination decreases, your ability to perform muscular activity decreases, hence your ability to hold on to this flotation device decreases. And it's a catch-22. The worse you hold on, the more you sink. The more you sink, the worse you can hold on. And so your fate, as time goes on, gets worse and worse. I don't want to do that again. So tell us how you're feeling. I'm good. Yeah. Good? 